everyone, James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Now in this video, it's probably gonna be a very quick one because I wanna show you how to style a brand new wig from James Mansfield Beauty. Yes, I present to you the ba -ba 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 -ba. Let me grab it. The Prom Queen wig. Now this is probably the shortest wig I offer on James Mansfield Beauty, but it is full of potential. Don't let the shortness of it fool you, okay? Now, let me just get her pinned down and we're gonna do a quick style on her because this is gonna be like lightning fast because it's short hair, but you can still do a lot with it. So I'll be right back after she's pinned <laughs> down. All right, she's pinned on the head. Now, first things first, we're gonna brush through this and wake up the teasing because this wig has lots of permatease in it. So we want to get the hair woke up and see where we wanna go with it. Now, some people will just do a brush out and wear it, you know, just like that. <laughs> it's a bubble cut kind of hairstyle. I was inspired by the likes of like Rena Moreno and old school Barbie. I want something that's like short and cropped for that you know short hair moment. <laughs> Lots of ladies of the theater used to wear hair like this. And don't get me wrong, just because it's an old school hairstyle does not mean you can't have a lot of fun with it in the modern world. I'm talking, you know, Rocky Horror, you could use this for. Good Frankenfurter wig. Elizabeth Taylor. Very Butterfield 8 or Cat in the Hot Tin Roof. Or West Side Story, Anita, which is essentially who she was inspired by. My biggest inspiration when I was designing the cut for it. Now, that's gorgeous already. Like that's already a style. You can hairspray that, pop it on your head and you're good to go. But what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna add a bit more of a tease to it, just to show you what it's like when you add a bit more packing to it. Because all of my wigs, even the hard front wigs, they're designed to be styled. Like, it's for the creative mind to have fun with. You definitely could wear them on their own, that is definitely an option, but why not experiment a little bit, you know? Have some fun. Especially for the price point. You're gonna get your money's worth. Now, what I like about this wig and what I specifically designed in it is that for a short style, the thing that always bothers me is the fact that like, there's never enough hair in the back to cover up the tracks. Like they're always peeking through. I don't have that issue with this wig. I was very, very adamant about that. As well as on top of the head, there is lots and lots of tracks with permatease so that you can play around with it to get nice volume without having to do a whole lot of teasing. Like right here, I'm just doing a little few packs here and there. And with the back of the head, you don't even have to do a whole lot of teasing. Like I usually stop mid and then just brush upward the back of the hair and it'll rejoin the rest. Ooh, oh my God, Rizzo from Grease is also another good one. Stalker Channing, love it. All right, now that we have our hair pretty much all teased out, we are going to have some fun in styling it. I'm gonna show you a fun thing you can do with this. I'm going to brush through and part it a little bit. And just by angling my brush the tiniest bit and working with my fingers, you can play around with the end curls like that to create sort of a fun little style like that. Almost Betty Boopish. Just go like that all around. Check that out. Now what I love about hairstyles like this is with just a few strokes of your brush, you can change it from like a 50s haircut to a 60s haircut or even 80s with a little bit of teasing. Like there's so many options and so many ways you can go with this. And especially a lot of those older actresses like Elizabeth Taylor, she always wore hair like this and it was always just like, you know, an updated version for whatever decade she was in. And it's a classic style that you can have a lot of fun with. And especially these little end curls here, I always have so much fun dressing. And I hope you do too, because there's so much you can do with them. You can get really cutesy with it, or you can make it a more mature hairstyle. Like, let the curls flare out like that, and it's very cutesy. Like, you know, leader of the pack. And if you let them curl inward, you get more of a mature look. Gorgeous, she looks like Rizzo from Greece. <laughs> What's the worst thing I could do? All right, and a little bit of a pick. 
Now the trick with wigs like this is to bring the hair from the back to the front and that will create a lot of lift without having to do a lot of teasing. Gorge. And just with the end of my pick, I am just combing through the hair like that to get the hair getting a direction going. And again, when I put it on my head, I'll always adjust it to my own frame. And pulling up that volume to get more and more height. Ugh, are you not in love? It is totally Maggie from Cat in the Hot Tim Root. Oh, so many stories, I love it. A little bit of hairspray. And you can always trim the bangs to your own liking if you want more of a blunt bang, or if you want to keep the curls, go for it. You know, again, the wig tells a different story no matter what you do to it. And like I said, just a few simple flicks of a brush and you can change the entire era of this hair. And dressing the back is so easy. Like you see, all I'm doing there is just flicking around some of the curls to get them pretty. You can even pull some in the back like that to cover up your nape. And again, a lot of this is just gonna be adjustments you made to your head just to make the height the way you want it. But that is essentially a great look already. Like she is so chic. All right, I'm gonna do some finishing primping on my own head and come back with the final result. Be right back. <laughs> oh my God, I am back. Oh my goodness, like, I feel like I'm in a Hollywood screen test right now. Yes, West Side Story. Yes, this is the final result. I love these little short hairstyles like this. And like I said, the trick to short wigs like this is there has to be a lot of hair in it. Especially if you're a drag queen, you have to have a lot of hair you can like play around with. Because if it's too, too short, it's gonna look like a little boy hairstyle on you. <laughs> Like, you know, you're wearing boy hair on top of your boy hair. But this is fabulous. I love this. And it's great for burlesque as well. That very easy, old school Playboy Bunny wig kind of hairstyle. Just pop some ears on. Yes. Now, this is one way you can wear it. You can, of course, do a number of different things with a brush to completely change the ear like I mentioned before. Now, a way to change the ear is honestly just switching around the brushing. If you make it a little messier in the front and join it with the bangs, you can get an 80s style going. Like that, and you play around with it like that, you get a nice late 70s, early 80s style. And you can also play around with it with your fingers to get the volume even bigger. That's also an option. There's lots of curls here you can play around with at the front if you wanna do like design spit curls, like a Betty Boop moment. Lots and lots of ways you can style this wig on your head. And if you want a very clean, pristine look, you can also do that in like the classic 1950s, early 1960s prom queen style, where you just follow the curl pattern and just create a direction like that and flick under to bring out those under curls. And just do it all around the head. Normally I would do this on mannequin head, but you can also do it on your head as well. Like it's completely an option you can do. And I'm just lifting up those curls in the back just a brush motion like that to flick it upward. And just push it up. And you get a nice classic June Cleaver, you know, 1950s prom queen kind of look. <laughs> Beauty pageant hair. Yeah, so many ways you can style this. But thank you all so much for watching. This is the prom queen that is available at James Mansfield Beauty. She is part of our premium hard front wig line, and I was so happy to style it for you folks today. Now, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.